Brandon says, can you do this with 3.10, which is much faster than 3.8? Is it, Brandon? Is it really? Of course, Brandon in the comments uh, is referring to a video I just did where I used Python 3.8, testing Python on the M1 versus M2, but that's not what we're testing today. Today, I wanna see if 3.10 is going to run that same test faster than 3.8. Pretty simple. Now I've installed a Conda environment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Conda is a way that you can separate out your Python environments. I'll link to a video explaining that and how to set it up down below. So Conda activate Pi38. I have this environment called Pi38, which has Python version 3.8 installed. And I also happen to have the code base for Mandelbrot. Mandelbrot is a test that I often use on this channel, including that video where Brandon commented. This is the code for it. It's from Benchmark's game. I'm just gonna run the code and we're gonna time that. Time Python, I'm gonna pass in, let's do 10,000. Doesn't matter what the parameter is as long as I keep it consistent. And I'm gonna pipe that out to dev slash null. Okay, I think we're ready to go, let's go. Yeah, that's a good runtime. 14.69. I'm gonna do this one more time just so that we get an average and to make sure we're being consistent. By the way, this test is pretty CPU intensive. It uses all the cores. So I'm gonna run it just a couple times to get an average. And um, I do have a bunch of programs open. This is my daily driver, M1 Max MacBook Pro. I'm not gonna bother turning everything off because I wanna see the performance here of what it's really like. So we've got 14. 0.098 and 14.121. That gives us a nice little average to work with. Let's seconda deactivate, and I'm gonna conda activate Pi 3.10. Now we've got Python version 3.10, and let's run that same command again. Boom. Now the first run should give us a clear indication of whether this is much faster or not. Much, much faster, as Brandon pointed out. Ah, uh, I mean, it's a little bit faster, 14.076. By the way, this is a multi-core test, so I'm not running the single core test, there's no point, since whatever is gonna be the result on a single core is gonna be multiplied out by the number of cores I have. In other words, the multi-core test should compound any results I might get in running a Python program. And so far, it looks like it's not doing that much better. Oh, we got into the 13s. 13.306. So there is some truth to what Brandon was saying. It seems to be that 3.10 is a little bit faster. I guess we're not done yet. A release candidate of 3.11 came out, so gotta test it. Now, unfortunately, Anaconda does not yet have this published. The highest they have is 3.10.4. So there is no 3.11 package available through Anaconda yet. And even if we check a different channel, for example, here's Conda Forge, which is just slightly different versions available through this channel, they don't have that either. Hey, hold up there, Alex. Why are you lying? Well, you're lying because that video was recorded about uh, a couple weeks ago, but today, today is October 25th, and yesterday, Python 3.11 was officially launched, so he's going to show you how to download it in case you don't want to use the Conda environment, which is still a valid way to get Python installed 3.11, and I'll be back to show you how to do it through Conda Forge. It's now available through Conda Forge. And the times are a little bit different, too. So we have to go and download this as an installer, a global installer. Defeats the whole purpose of having Anaconda, but for the sake of testing, we have to do it. I'm doing this for you. I'm gonna ruin my beautifully pristine environment. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so here we are on python.org, downloads, release, Python 3110RC1. We can go down here and download this Mac OS 64-bit universal installer, which includes the x64 version and the Apple Silicon version, all in one little package. Download the installer, it's a PKG file. You can just run it, go through the installer, it'll install Python globally. That means we can go here, to the command line and run python dash dash version. Oh, oops, that's not it. Python 3 dash dash version 3.11.0.rc1. There we go. Now we're gonna be able to test this. So instead of using the Python command, I'm gonna use Python 3. And uh, let's add that time command to the beginning. Mandelbrot, Mandel, and 10,000 dev 
Now, let's see. Did 311 improve that much? Now, they claim that they have. They claim here that it's actually between 10 and 60% faster than even Python 310. Wow, that is into the 12s now. So this is getting better. 12.256 even better 12.045 and one more time not the best that time but still all of these were in the 12s so yeah big difference there all right let me stop you right there alex for a minute here and i told you i'll be back i wanted to show you that now python is available version 3.11 through conda forge there it is right there and how do you install it same way we did before but a slightly different installation path and you can see how to install it right here this is what i'm going to do i'm going to create a conda environment we'll call this conda forge pi 311 conda activate cf pi i will never remember that name and then i'll paste in that command conda install dash c conda forge python not just python but conda forge python and this will give me the latest so if we check our version of Python right here, 3.11, let's head over to my code directory. We'll do a quick benchmark check here. Time, Python, Mandel 10,000, dev, null. And if it sounds like somebody's sleeping here, somebody is. <laughs> Boom. Here's the moment of truth. Did they improve between the pre-release and their official release? Let's see. 11.8, that looks like an improvement. 11.6, even better. 11.7, even more improvement with the official release of Python 3.11, and we've come a long way since 3.8. Brandon, good one. Back to Alex. And if we do this little drop down here, we see that there's another one coming up. The dev branch of 3.12 which might be even faster. I don't know. We'll have to test that when that comes out. But so far, pretty nice little progression, don't you think? I don't know when this particular package 3.11 will be available through Conda, but probably pretty soon. So make sure you check that out when you're watching this video to see what version is available. I don't know how long this video will be up. I don't know when you're watching this. You might be watching this five years from now when it doesn't, none of this matters. None of this really matters five years from now. Things will be so much faster. We'll have robots doing everything for us. We'll have AI programming for us. Python will be a thing of the past. I don't know. I'll see you all later. Have a good day.